All right, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be cleaning the sensor on my Sony a7 III. So if you follow me on my social media at all, you know that I've been taking this thing everywhere. I've taken it to the top of Mount Rainier, Mount Shasta, and just a lot of different hikes around the Pacific Northwest. And I noticed it's starting to accumulate a little bit of dust on the sensor. When I'm out there hiking, I've been swapping between the Batis 18 and the Sony 85 1.8. Uh, I know you're really not supposed to be swapping lenses when there's wind or dust or anything like that, but sometimes you just gotta get the shot. So I just kind of do my best to swap them over without getting any wind or dust on my sensor, but obviously I failed at that. I noticed it about a month ago when I was shooting out in the North Cascades. Uh, I had my f-stop to about f-16, f-18, and uh, got it home. I noticed a lot of little specs on my image, uh, opened up the body, checked out the sensor and the light, and definitely noticed a couple little specs on my sensor. So today, it's time to clean it. All right, first off, let me say, I wouldn't normally just clean the sensor of my camera for no reason. I would actually have to be able to see visible dust on my sensor when I'm going through my images uh, for me to wanna do this. So it's been bugging me for about a month. So I just went ahead and I pulled the trigger on one of these eye lead gel sensor sticks. I was really up in the air between the gel stick method and the wet cleaning method. And ultimately I decided to go with the gel stick. First of all, whenever I change my lenses, it is outdoors a lot. So figured that dust that's probably on my sensor is a little bit different than maybe household dust. Uh, that you'd find around your house. It's probably a little bit more rocky, a little bit more gritty, and just the thought of dragging the dust across my sensor just kinda makes me sick. A good way to see if there's dust on your sensor, or just to double check, uh, is set your f-stop to something like f22, then go take a picture of maybe a blank sheet of paper or the sky, and you can just kinda zoom in on your viewfinder here and you'll be able to see uh, all kinda stuff on your sensor if there is dust on it. Okay, so the first thing I would do is I would actually go into the Sony cleaning mode and I would try that first. All right, so if that doesn't work, I would then use the rocket blower. So I'd take the lens off, I'd hold the camera upside down so any dust kind of blows out. Uh, and then I would just use my rocket blower and blow uh, up inside of the camera, kind of like that. Okay, and finally, last but not least, if that doesn't work, that's when I would go to the actual sensor cleaning kit and use the gel stick. All right, so inside the box comes directions, your gel pen, and about 10 pieces of sticky paper. All right, so all you're gonna do with your gel pen is touch it on the sensor. You wanna press a little bit firm, but not too firm because you have your in-body image stabilization. Uh, pull it off and then you're going to use the sticky paper to remove any dirt. You want to make sure with the sticky paper that you use one spot at a time and you don't want to reuse any spot on the sticky paper. So make sure uh, once you use an area, uh, you just move over a little bit on the sticky paper. You're basically going to repeat this process until your whole entire sensor is clean. All right, glad that's over with. So yeah, it's always a little bit intimidating to touch your sensor, to clean your sensor. You hear all kind of horror stories about it, but honestly, it really wasn't that bad. I think as long as you follow a couple simple guidelines, that's gonna make the process a little bit easier for you. So a couple things that I did in advance to prepare for this. Uh, number one, I wiped down my camera. So I went through with just a little bit of uh, lens cleaner, and a cloth and just kind of wiped everything down to make sure I got all the dust off, which really helped and made sure no dust fell down inside the sensor. Uh, something else I did was I cleaned my whole area a couple hours in advance. So I got some spray, I got some paper towels and kind of wiped down my desk, wiped down my computer area, wiped down my whole room uh, to make sure all the dust was removed out of the area. And I also waited a little bit just to make sure if there was any dust floating around uh, that it would settle kind of to the ground, then I can go ahead and clean my sensor. Something else that I did 
whereas I turn the fan off and I close all windows. You definitely don't want to breeze while you're doing this because your sensor is exposed for a pretty long time. So you want to make sure there's no dust, there's no wind. So definitely turning the fan off and closing the window was a big help. Something else that really helped was bringing in an extra light so you can really see down in there. Uh, try to get it up and above so no shadows are casting across your sensor. I think that really helped big time and gave me a little bit of confidence to get in there and clean it. Okay, also with this pen, I made sure to start in the top left corner of the sensor, uh, dab, then touch the sticky paper, and then go back, kind of eyeball the area that I already covered, move over a little bit, dab it, touch a new spot on the sticky paper, and kind of repeat that process, always sticking to a new spot on the paper. Um, I went through about three of them in one cleaning. I actually cleaned the whole thing once, went outside, took a photo, still saw a little bit of dust on the sensor in one or two spots, uh, brought it back in, cleaned it again, and now I have it spotless. Yeah! 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 All right! Yes! This is the iLead gel sensor stick. I am very happy with it. Uh, I thought it did a great job. You need to make sure if you're using it on a Sony camera that you have the Sony specific pen. I ordered it from photographylife.com because I was reading online and there were some bad stories about people that ordered them on Amazon, I guess through a bad shipper, and uh, some of like the gel got stuck on their sensor, which is kind of a little bit sketchy. Uh, but I haven't heard any bad stories about anybody that's ordered it from Photography Life, so I'll drop a link below for you guys to check out. Uh, highly recommend, it was relatively easy, relatively painless. If you got any questions, you can drop them down below. Uh, glad they get back to you. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing. I got a lot more videos coming on the Sony a7 III and some more hiking adventures. Uh, hopefully I don't get this sensor dirty anytime soon, but you never know. Thanks for watching, appreciate it. Have a good day, peace.